Well, this time of year brings out the friends we wish would stay in the dark. We're talking, of course, about flies and stinging insects and overall pests that we want out of the house. News Press Now's Kyle Schmidt uh, spoke to uh, Preferred Pests to find out tips to keep the bugs away. When people have fly problems, most of them think killing the flies will get rid of it. Unfortunately, that is not always how it works. CEO and Marketing Director with Preferred Pest Control, Dawn Cooperrider, says the problem can intensify quickly. Before you know it, you've got one or two flies and then they're breeding and you've got a whole house full of flies, so it can become a problem in a hurry. The operation to exterminating the flies can come in many variations, depending on the fly, but finding the source of the problem is key. You can kill, keep killing flies, you can keep smacking them, but until you get to the source of the problem, they're just going to keep breeding. We have drain flies, fruit flies, house flies, cluster flies, and plenty more. And according to Cooper Rider, for drain flies, they like to go for bacteria in the drains. So we need to break that bacteria down and eliminate the source. Cooper Rider has a DIY for fruit flies. I like to take apple cider vinegar, pour it in a shallow dish, put saran wrap around it, and poke a few holes in it. And you just set it around the house where you're seeing those fruit flies. The smell of vinegar will then trap the flies in here. Other tips included making sure windows were sealed and doors were closed throughout the summer and to be on top of the issue or else the flies won't go away until first frost. Reporting for News Press Now, I'm Kyle Schmidt.